Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Uncle Greg, a.k.a. The Free American Spirit, and we're going on to Phase 2 of the Solar Panel Array. So, let's get at it. Hit that like button, use that Amazon link to buy anything you want, and share the video. So, let's just recap. Those poles in the back were sunk a foot too deep, so this up here is not high enough. And they were supposed to be three feet from the shed. What that would allow is panels to overlap that top thing that top rafter by about two feet a foot and a half and that would have been the same down here however since they're closer and shorter I couldn't get the large panel so that mistake cost me 200 watts a panel because I was gonna buy 500 watt panels but they were seven foot long and the only way I could make that work is if I took these and put two by fours and extended it down like two feet then I'd have to dig out that stump so I said no 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 we're not doing that so I wound up with these high efficiency panels these are 320 watts but they're about a foot or so shorter and they fit just perfect so now what we're doing is installing the rails and I just wanted to show you a couple things up under here there's a little clip I don't know if you can see that real good but it slides this way and connects to this little bottom right here and then there's a nut in here that you tighten up you hold it in place and tighten it up if you were on a flat surface like a roof you would use a zip tie or some tape or something to hold it in place while you tighten that nut so my mistake putting these panels up normally they sell little l-shaped brackets that go in here and you put those along on each side to keep this bracket i decided you know they're l-shaped like that so I decided I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to take these screws. So I was in a hurry, as usual. So that led to mistake number two. Because I didn't measure all these out perfectly when I put them up. I just kind of ballparked it. And what I mean by that was, since I used anchors here, you see this is sticking out? This should be over here. Because I had to take this out to slide that in. You know, I lift this panel up, slide that in, and put the panel down. You know pull it back this way as I hold it to to tighten that nut in there and then I had to put that back the other thing is these are sticking out like four inches here and on the other side they're sticking out like an inch that's not a big deal I mean I could really just take this panel off cut this you know and make them even and then put this back there and nobody would see that you just see a little nub like that sticking out but that's perfectionist stuff, so for you guys, I just pointed out, because if you want to be perfectionist, just make sure you measure this a little better. <clears throat> These are the clips that go in the middle there. And so basically, they go like this down in there, and then you turn them, and they, it's hard to do with one hand, but they, they turn like that. And then these, this is the space between the panels. So this part actually grips on top of the panel so simple stuff <clears throat> on that end so another thing is originally I just took a nail and I kind of smacked that a little beginner hole in there because the self-tapping screw which is a two inch screw has to go through this but then once it hits there and it's already through it goes through that real easy but it slid around here so that's why you have that washer to avoid that problem because I'm smarter is now I'm doing these rails I didn't have a drill bit yesterday but now that I do I'm drilling the top rails now for the top row and you can see from the ends I put them way in here okay now I'll still put these what are you eating stop that she's got a piece of the little solar panel uh, what do you call it the packing material anyways these will still be out of length you know or out of not measured properly because they got to match the other one so it'll still stick out a little bit on one end but at least there'll be no nuts I won't have to undo any of those screws and the washers to redo them so that's what happens when you're too lazy once again to go up to the store and get a drill bit okie dokie let's move on all right guys so here we are down at the last you can see those are fairly even those are fairly even and spaced also going this way these will be more 
uh, evenly distributed in nose. The tops here have less support than the bottoms because when I measured those down there, it was for the bigger panels and these would have been up further. Anyways, to make a long story short, to put these in place, this is a two inch self tap, uh, 12 by two inch self tap screw. I'd rather have two and a half inches because the tip takes up about a quarter inch and then that's a quarter inch by one inch washer. So that's what's holding all these in. You know, if I need to add more later or something or put the L brackets, I will, but these are on there. I mean, there's four screws per track. I really don't think they're going anywhere, and this thing is built like a moose. But you never know. So, all in all, just look out for the little mistakes like I made. Don't cut your post short. Make sure everything's square. And you don't cut any top off and make sure they're buried at the proper distance. And if you have overhang, you know, make sure your posts are far enough away from your outbuilding if you don't have an outbuilding it's a moot point and on our next uh, installment we will get the rest of these panels up and then we'll start checking the amps and the volts because this is going to be wired differently than i originally had planned with the other panels so i'll have to go through it all anyways and see how many i can hook up in series or parallel to the inverter and we'll figure that out all right see i almost got all the top panels going look way up there you'll see that little clip up there it's one of these I would put that last panel in but it's missing that top part which will go right there so the hardest part of this is having people lift it up you really need two people because you have to kind of lift the panel up like this over like that and then slide it down and uh, moving that ladder around it's like two times per panel unless you're a really young person and you can just monkey around and climb stuff but those panels missed that roof by about two inches so had I not not put those down a little bit further luckily I measured I wouldn't have got those on but they fit just perfect and we'll start doing some amp tests and whatever you can see that the these posts or that rail is not perfectly lined up with the shed so it's over on that end, this is the shed by about three inches, and over, or two inches, and over here misses it by about eight inches. So that's okay because south is a little bit that way anyways. Actually, I should have done it about another foot that way and cocked it to be, well, maybe not that much, but to be true, dead south, but we'll live with this. You know guys, it's been four days now since I ordered the top of this clip so I could put that panel up and it's just bugging the hell out of me that that panel is still sitting there. And I have to leave my ladder out, I gotta leave the panel. So then I had a brainstorm. Hey dummy, why not just take the top of this one off and leave the bottom part like that in there. Then I can put that panel up because I have the two side screws. And bada boom bada bing when the thing comes in. I'll just replace that. So let's see if that spring and bottom part stay in there when I take that top part off. Well, looky there. It came off. No problems. And the spring is staying there. Just to be extra careful or whatever you want to call it, I will take this bolt out of this one and thread it down through there and push that spring down and tighten it just a little bit. And that way I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Or losing it. What do you think of that, alligators? I could put my panel up. Wow, nice. Hey, dummy, you need that spring to go on this one. So take that screw back out, and take the spring with you. Okay, no problem. And I just dropped a little washer, but I got an extra one there, anyways. Cool. All right, kids, till the next time, thumbs up, share the videos, make a comment if you can. They love that. and. Use that Amazon link to buy anything you want because it helps us out and helps you out. See ya!